Hi, I'm Dom from Wondershare Uniconverter and in this video I will show you how to add subtitles in iMovie and then in other way which will save you hours from the subtitle creating process. Let's get started. Creating subtitles is a time-consuming process, lots of transcribing and many many hours of time adjusting the subtitles to the timeline. Whoa, I literally got shivers if I think about it and spring is here so it's pretty warm now. <laughs> many people use iMovie as their go-to editing software as it's a free built-in tool on every Mac you purchase. So let's see how subtitles work in iMovie. In iMovie, there is one way to add subtitles to a video. You first go into Titles, and then you select the lower third and drag it onto the timeline. And then you adjust it where they speak in the video. And then type everything in manually. And then do the same exact thing throughout the entire video. Yeah, very annoying. Now, fortunately, technology granted us tools that will do this entire process automatically in seconds. So what you're gonna have to do is search for the Wondershare Uniconverter in Google, or the links are in the description, and then just download it. Once you have it opened up, this is what you're gonna have to do. If you have the Uniconverter opened up, on the left side panel, choose the toolbox and then within the toolbox, the subtitle editor. Import the video you want to create subtitles for. If the subtitle editor is opened up, you're going to have to click on the auto subtitles function. Here you can select the language that is spoken in the video and then click on start now. So what this tool is gonna do is transcribe the video and then adjust the subtitle pieces onto the timeline automatically. When it's done, click OK and then as you can see, it transcribed the entire video and then adjusted the little text pieces onto the timeline. Now, if the Wondershare Unit Converter wasn't accurate in recognizing every word, like my name for example, you can just correct that manually and go through the video and check if everything is alright. But the Wondershare Unit Converter is pretty accurate in recognizing English. If for example you don't need some subtitle parts in the video, for example here where there is already text in the video, you can just click on it and then click on the trash icon to delete it. If you click on one of the subtitle pieces and then click on styles, you can add a custom style to your subtitles. Here you can select the fonts. Let's go with this one. It's pretty peculiar. You can select size. You can make it smaller or you can make it large. You can also select a color, of course. You can add an outline. If you don't need one, just set it to zero. You can play around with transparency. And of course, you can position it on the video. And you can use this little toggle here to fine tune the position. If you don't need your background, just select the transparency to 100%. Or if you want a different color, just set one from the presets. And the best thing is that if you want to apply the same style to every subtitle pieces, then you can just click apply to all. And then all of your subtitles will have the same exact style. Now, if you're done editing your subtitles, you can select an output folder down here. I'm gonna go with same as source folder and then just click save. Here you can save it as an mp4 file. In this case the subtitle will be burnt in in the video. 
If you have the SRT file selected, it will save it as a separate SRT file. And you can also save the project file. You can do it both three simultaneously or just select whichever one you want. Now I want to burn it into the video, so I'm going to select MP4. And then I'm just going to click save. And once it's finished, you'll have a video with a burnt in subtitle. And literally, that's it. Much, much easier than doing everything manually. But that was our how to video for today. If you enjoyed it, please give it a big thumbs up. And if you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, do so. And also turn on the notifications so you never miss a new upload on this channel. With that being said, thank you so much for watching and I'm going to see you in the next video. Oh, 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 oh,